is an event happens someplace that triggers all kinds of events in other places. We used to talk about the butterfly flapping its wings in Central America and a typhoon in Tokyo. As we talked about more today, though, we've kind of changed eras. And now the tweets in Jakarta can melt glaciers in Canada. And today I'm going to give you an insight, my insight, into life at GIS over the last 20 months, since March of 2014, when a reaction began that engulfed GIS, South Jakarta, the Big Durian, the entire archipelago, and eventually the entire world. This retelling is my version. It's not Jis's version. It's no one else's. I'll get it as close as I can. And I'll try to bring nearly two years into 15 minutes. It all started with an accusation. One of those accusations that's so horrible, we all shudder to say it out loud. And if we ever do, we say it in a hushed voice. Soto voce. Because just hearing it, is chilling. Beyond, after the accusation, there was a reaction. The organization, JIS, worked with the accusers to try to deal with the accusation in private, to provide support, and to find out the truth. How naive we were. How naive we were. At that point, in hindsight, we should ask for help. We should have reached out to the community, to people that had a better idea on how to deal with issues like this in Indonesia, if only we had. Next, it went from a private accusation to a public accusation. Those horrible words spread across the front pages of newspaper filling the blog sphere, Twitter sphere, the cover of Tempo and Primetime TV. Indonesia was outraged. How can this horrible accusation have happened in the most prestigious, exclusive, expensive school in the country? The media frenzy was about to begin. We then asked for help. The first PR team who didn't know about social media, said, be a turtle. Crises last two, to two, two weeks to two months. There's nothing you can say. Cover up. It will wash over you. As the saying goes, all advice is not equal. We took that advice, and we and the school paid a price. What followed? as you may remember, was chaos, anger, and fear. Anger at the school. How could this rich school not protect this young child from these horrible acts? Fear. How many perpetrators were there? Are they still there? Is my child been impacted? Demonstrators at the gates, parents marching at the school. Nobody knew what the truth was. And to be honest, we didn't know how to find out the truth. Very, very troubling times, and probably the darkest time of the entire saga. And then, just when the school probably needed at least a ghost from the past, comes out in the news that former GIST teacher committed suicide after being discovered to be a serial pedophile for over 40 years across 10 countries. Confusion. Marching at the gates, demanding that just be closed and that Bill, Bill Vahey be fired. TV One saying that Steve Druggan is on the run with his children escaping Indonesia because he is a pedophile. Accusations by members of the Ministry of Education that other administrators at GIST have done similar deeds. It was a dark time. There were dark days. Then it gets worse. 26 teachers deported for irregularities in their kitas. At the beginning, they would be deported in 24 hours. 
we managed to get that changed until the end of the year. Then, the Dear Jen of Early Childhood says, GIST does not have a license, and closes us, closes EC and Kinder. That eventually was overturned in court, but in April and May of 2014, it didn't matter. It was dark. <coughs> but, no matter how dark it was, every day, the sun came up. Every day, kids came to school. Every day, they smiled, they laughed, they played, and the teachers taught. The volunteers came. Detoko served food. Booster Hut sold velvet cupcakes. Some joy returned. The parents and the students rose up. The alumni came back and said, that's not the gist we know. Maybe something horrible happened, but so much good has happened at this school. Some light returned. Some happiness. Some goals crystallized, three distinct goals. Get, let graduation happen. Allow the class of 2014 to walk across the FAT. Finish the school year. Let fifth graders celebrate their transition to middle school. Let eighth graders celebrate their transition to high school. Wrap up the year, have closure. Let those in their final year just have their transition. And finally, let everyone go home. Have a break. The rays of hope are here. We'll come back in August, and everything will be okay. And it got worse. The night before school was to close, we were informed they were going to detain teachers in country as additional accusations had come forward saying that these people were also involved in these hideous acts. The June and July of 2014 waves. <coughs> Just faculty being questioned, it pulled a metro giant in South Dakota. Commission three holding a hearing in the Melody Theater at Pi. Commission three. Unable to get work permits for 100 teachers. The list goes on and on. How are we going to open school with all of those things hanging over our head? We didn't know. But in true dragon spirit, all the new teachers that we had hired came. All the returning teachers returned. And two days late, we opened first grade through 12th grade. The community was united for justice. During those dark months, we always used music. And one of the songs I remember listening to was the Joe Cocker version of the Beatles classic, you get by with a little help from your friend. The reality was, we got by with a lot of help from our friend. GIS would not have reopened at that time if it hadn't been for some amazing dedication from some people. But 2014-15, I don't want to say a lot about. We lost a lot in court. We won a couple. But as a community, we came together we came together for justice. We came together to take care of each other. And we came together to hopefully figure out the truth and move forward. And it's one damn strong community. Where are we now? We're in the midst of hopefully the end of appeal season. We're at the hopefully getting near the end where people can go back to their lives can go back to their loved ones without the threat of improper incarceration hanging over their head. We're not there yet, but we're getting close. Where are we now? We're one stronger community than we were before. We know more about ourselves. We'll never be the same, but yet, just has been here for 65 years. And just will be here a long time from now. And each chapter makes the dragon stronger. And let's remember, it could have been worse. The incredible outpouring of support from the GIST community, from the parents, bringing the food, showing the teachers how much they cared, the support from around the world kept the morale high. Without that morale, the dragon would may not have survived. That amazing support was the oxygen. 
But beyond that amazing worldwide support, there was a small band of people. These people lost friends. They lost business deals. They lost sleep. They either lost or gained weight. But they stuck at it and stuck at it. And then finally, in the first week of August this year, some justice started to happen. Where will we be two years from now? Oil will probably be $75 a barrel. Donald Trump won't be president. <laughs> and hopefully, everyone involved, everyone who's been a victim of this incredible or chaos theory will have the freedom to travel across the cities they choose, the countries they choose, and around the world, their head held high. That's what I think will happen in two years. And we will all, be, we will all have learned from this journey. Command Z. If only we had that in life. So easy on a computer. Undo, 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 undo. People have said to me, what would you undo, Steve? What would you do different? Three things. Number one, at the very beginning, reach out to people that knew a lot more about going to war in Java. Because we went to war in Java and we didn't speak Javanese. Number two, reach out to more people that knew more about going to war in Java. And number three, ditto. Wherever you are in the world, never ignore local context. And I think we did that. We were naive, we were young, and we made mistakes. But in the end, the GIST community showed how strong it can be. It showed a dedication to justice that has wowed those around the world. But it's also, I want people to remember that even before this, the GIST community was amazing. And to wrap it up, I want to share with you a book that was given to Mr. Carr, Mr. Clark, and myself in May of 2014. I am the current president of the, of the sophomore class. Firstly, I want to generally thank you, as well as the entire administrative team, for all your efforts in defending our school against the accusations, slander, and prejudice the result from Indonesia's evolving social political realities. As I had written to Mr. Clark earlier, GIST is not only a school that helps students excel in the field of academics, but truly aids students in finding themselves and discovering their passions. I have never felt outwardly talented in sports or the arts, but have been accepted in the GIST community nonetheless. I cannot explain how much that has meant to me. I initially believed that I had to be exceedingly talented in a specific area to belong, but just showed me that every single individual, regardless of ethnic background, religion, or ability, is accepted and treated equally. Every school can offer an education, but not every school can offer a home. Being a student at GIST has genuinely changed my life. I have had the humbling experience of serving my class as a leader of the student council for the past two years. This passion and love for GIST is what inspired me to put this book together. I gave the class of 2016 the opportunity to write messages of support for, to our remarkable administration as a method of collectively exhibiting our appreciation and care. I then compiled these messages and, brought you, and bring you this booklet. On behalf of our class, I want to thank you for your contribution to making GIST a welcoming and safe community. This is the very reason that we, the class of 2016, who are about to graduate, would like to portray our gratitude. GIST has changed our lives in more ways than we could ever describe. And we are extremely grateful. The lesson is, build a foundation of community so you can get through the dark days. Thank you. <laughs>